well for like 26 years. I um, mostly make big sculptures out of marble, but sometimes I make paintings I like these. Well, I, um, I made a um, collection of sort of like religious icons and, and how I understand the world too. Um, not the things that people say they believe in, but the things that their, um, their actions sh uh, betray what they believe in. And so one thing is like this sort of strange show of, um, of elections and how the, there's, there's allegedly a choice between the two different you know, front people for the um, kind of corporatocracy. And so um, that's what this painting was about. So you, know, you have like the bad guy and then the good guy who's gonna come and save you. And, um, and then you know, at the end of the eight years that that person gets thrown out like the Kleenex or whatever so they can choose the next really good guy to come and save everyone. When people become soldiers, usually because you know, you're 18 and you feel like you um, wanna be heroic and you want tuition and, and you and you you want to do the right thing and you want to stand up for what's right and then wind up going to spread the empire and, and, and expand the empire and uh, but it's interesting that lots of soldiers that come home wind up being I did you know by the current regime and by different regimes in history wind up being shown to be threats to the regime and then so you don't really know I mean is a soldier is a soldier like sort of a good guy who's who's um, standing up to the empire or is he um, working on behalf of the empire I, I do a lot of that, but I also use every kind of power tool and saws and grinders and a diamond chainsaw, which is <laughs> joyfully destructive. Um, I, I guess I feel a little bit like I wish to educate and help illustrate the concepts that um, are obvious to everyone. And so um, the, the threat of statism and the threat of collectivism, sometimes I'm illustrating that or, or then then there's the other side of liberty, of course, what, what is it to have liberty and, and it's to be able to pursue your own vision and to just, and to be, and to be able to be um, a loving person, to be able to enjoy life and, and um, the absence of that coercion. So I guess I like that illustrated both sides of that coin. Well, I'm, I'm always really excited when um, artists, um, in, in whatever their own mode is. Sometimes it's it's painting graffiti art on the sides of buildings or whatever with, with um, liberty messages. And and it's just really wonderful because it can draw in people who wouldn't have gone to a site to read it, read articles or whatever. That, that um, they, they just, you know, reach out in every kind of direction. And then of course, <clears throat> art can be, um, most of my things are the marble sculptures. And so you, you create those understanding that they're very likely just because of their gravity <laughs> sit around possibly for a few centuries or something and, and, and communicate to people. So that's kind of exciting, like messages in bottles.